It's a discovery that might change the lives of thousands and re-inject the hope of a better future. As many others, this disease has a complicated name, but the prostate hyperplasia, the abnormal growth of this organ, is pretty common to more than half of the men in their 60s, causing trouble onto the urinary function. James Algiglia, a 40-year-old American journalist, left Hong Kong and flew to the most western point in Europe, Portugal, where a doctor claims to have found an alternative solution for his case. I've had this thing since March yeah. 10. March 10. Yeah, I cannot urinate at all. Yeah. And you have some uh, imagined pain. Not a lot of pain, only discomfort, and uh, my life is harder because I have to have this, I have to bring this everywhere and people look at me and... and uh, I, I'm a person who takes fast decisions because that's part of my job, but I need to uh, analyze fast as well. But the decision between a new technology that is not invasive and that technology helps us to be much better without absolutely no side effects in front of the rest of the technologies, which means that they have to open you to cut, to sew, etc. I mean, the decision is very clear, we have to take this one. So, I took the decision because it was pure common sense. João Pisco, 65 years old, has been a radiologist for more than 30. He works at a public hospital, Polite Valente, in Lisbon, but is also a physician at the French hospital. He believes he has the best solution for this problem, a technique previously used on the uterine fibroids that he now extends to the prostate. It's called prosthetic artery embolization. When we start with any technique, when we start with any technique, it's natural to have a certain suspension, a certain doubt about the technique. Now, in this moment, we are with 114 doentes tratados. Uh, claro que nem tudo é sucesso, mas a porcentagem de sucesso desta técnica é de 90%, o que é muito bom. E os radiologistas de intervenção querem cá vir e têm uma série de pedidos do estrangeiro para virem cá. That's what four Italian radiologists did. They flew over from the northern Italy to learn from the Portuguese doctor. For the female, the embolization of the fibroma is a, a procedure that now is... And I, very common and very uh, also with very few problems for the um, woman. And I believe that uh, in maybe that this, in, with this treatment uh, in uh, 10 years uh, in the future can be also the same for the men. Uh, the patients want this kind of uh, procedures that are uh, uh, less invasive than uh, surgery, of course, as usual. We know it uh, from different uh, uh, districts. We use this technique in uh, liver, kidney, just uh, everywhere, bra brain, and so on. So we apply this uh, to the prostate situations and pathologies. The technique is minimally invasive and lies on the injection of microspheres in the arteries so they can block the blood's access to the prostate and so it shrinks. So this way, it stops compressing the urinary channels and the bladder, allowing the urinary system to regain its normal function. Besides, although not being a treatment for the sexual impotence, the procedure, according to the Portuguese doctor, may provide improvements on a third of the patients. So far, there were mainly two surgical treatments, one of them by laser, but most of them have complicated side effects.